Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for Doctor Who? Trivia! We, uh, our group is basically a, a Doctor Who, the only Doctor Who group in uh, Springfield and surrounding areas that we're aware of. Um, and what we do is we come together, we uh, watch videos, we have access to all the episodes, old and new, and uh, we just have a good time talking about Doctor Who. We'll uh, do also char charitable events and sometimes help the environment. We'll, uh, we have, a, we have the adopted the street, and so we do a street clean every so often. Uh, so if anyone can uh, come one uh, early in the morning on a Saturday or one, one of the, the, very soon, we do appreciate it. And the more hands, the merrier. Um, it's by Lake Springfield. And, and uh, even though we're a Doctor Who yeah. group, I mean, you don't have to be a Doctor Who expert. You can be a right. newbie. No you pressure. Can be, if you like to get together with fellow nerds, I mean, we, we talk about Marvel too. We we get together and play cards against humanity. It's just if you like to get together with a fun group of people who all happen to like Doctor Who, I mean, you can find us on Facebook. We're Springfield Hooligans, and we usually try to do event announcements when we're going to have get-togethers. Yeah, we try to do at least one or two of them. We try to do at least one or two um, You found us, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we, like, we'll do fun lunches. A lot of times we'll do yes. that in London Calling at the mall. Yes. Um, when we get together for games or potlucks or anything like that, we do tend to do the library. So we'll do the one on the north end or the one on the south end, depending on what we can get for. Library station or center. Uh, of course, uh, availability is always the issue for us, so we try to Try to book in advance, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Yeah, it's, it's always going to be in a public place. We don't actually get together at any one of our houses, so yeah, we don't want people to feel unsafe or uncomfortable. So it's always going to be a library or a restaurant or something or like that. Maybe an outdoor venue, but we haven't. Maybe, maybe who knows? <laughs> yeah, we, we've actually been trying to get together a miniature golf thing at Fun Acres. We can all play miniature golf and laugh hysterically. <laughs> <laughs> because I can't get the broad side of the bar. <laughs> but um, if anybody has any questions, we're actually right in the lobby area. We have the huge TARDIS. Yeah, you can TARDIS. take pictures with the TARDIS if you'd like. It, we, have, we can answer any of your questions. We do have handouts that we're going to give out at the end of this because there's actually answers on that, so we're not going to give them out right now. <laughs> But um, everybody, you can play as individuals or as groups. Just make sure you have your name at the top of the paper. General trivia is going to be two rounds after the first round. Hand them up front, we'll grade them. And then we'll do round two. At the end of round two, whoever wins gets the cool Rose Tyler. We are going to do a second trivia. It's Dr. Who expert trivia. And whoever wins the expert trivia will get the really cool, if I can like pick it up without dropping it, the TARDIS Funko Pop. And this will be for the expert trivia. It may be bigger on the inside, but we're not sure. I guess we should, uh, is that's it? It looks like we're full house? Okay. Okay. Okay, round one. This is going to be the easy questions. <laughs> Number one. What year did the Doctor Who first air? What year did Doctor Who first air? <laughs> the original or the new? Oh, the, the original. Okay, when first did the whole first. thing first start. Not the reboot with Christopher Eccleston. That was 2005. We're talking about when the whole thing started. Number two. Who is the creator of the Daleks? Okay, number 12. What famous painter do the Doctor and Amy Pond meet? Okay, number 13. Which race of predatory creatures resembles stone statues? <laughs> Number 14. Name one of the con 
companions the 13th doctor travels with. Uh -huh. She has three companions, you just have to name oh. one. Number one, who became Prime Minister for three successful terms beginning Britain's Golden Age? And number two, what organization was founded by Queen Victoria in 1879? as a gift at the end of the world. To who? Nemesis is perceived only while being viewed and is instantly forgotten once it viewer looks away. I was just remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. The correct answer is blank. <laughs> Number 12. What company was Donna Noble investigating when she meets the doctor again? Silence, boy! That's Strax, and as you can see, he's easily confused. Silence, girl! What planet is the Doctor's tomb located on? Trenton. I don't want to go. He always says that. So, third place with 26 points was the Hodge fan. Woo! 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 <laughs> Second place with 27 points. It's only one off. It's the Doctor and the Ood. Woo! I love your name, by the way. The doctor and the Ood. Oh, and the Doctor and the Ood. Okay. <laughs> All right. And first place with 30 points and winning Rose Tyler is Do You Nerd? Oh. Oh. That's <laughs> <laughs> in the episode, The Girl in the Fireplace, what is the name of the shift the clockwork androids are trying to repair? Remember, these questions are going to be harder. Yeah. Number two. In the episode, The Angels Take Manhattan, what is the name of the 1930s detective who stars in the novel? Oops. This episode also had Weeping Angels and her song in it. Okay, number three. In The Impossible Astronaut, what is the name of the FBI agent who helps them? In the impossible aspect. Okay, number 12. In the episode The Empty Child, that's the Argue My Mummy episode, what was the name of the child in the gas mask? Oh. When you see the mummy on the Orient Express, how long do you have to live? 66 seconds. Oh, Who said two hours? All right. So I have the results. 
in third place with five points. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Five points is the doctor in the nude. <laughs> a lot of fun especially if you happen to know your doctor who trivia and uh i gotta say i surprised we surprised the crap out of me <laughs> a little bit yeah i mean i knew we knew about doctor who but i didn't think we knew that much about doctor of who of course what's funny is we did so well with the typical trivia and then just bombed <laughs> the advanced trivia yeah but i don't feel we're so bad considering it was like what, like, 20 questions and the person who won only got seven right? And I'm not trying to, like, be like, oh, you don't know anything, but it's like, I don't feel so bad. Because you know? clearly there were tough <laughs> yeah. questions. Because it's not like, it's like, oh, there was 20 of them and we got four and then the winner got, like, 18. It was like, you know... <laughs> So the Springfield hooligans, they're a lot of fun. We have joined their Facebook page, but unfortunately we usually have conflicting yeah. schedules. So it's kind of tough for us to uh, get out there and meet up with them, but they do fun stuff all the time. They are mm -hmm. always doing, you know, uh, trivia nights, you know, outside of conventions. They do uh, movies and like potlucks. viewings. They've also adopted a street. And so I, I don't, I, I feel like it's maybe once a month or so that they get out and they get together and clean up the street they've adopted which, which is, is awesome yeah it's really nice they you know they do a lot of, of of really fun stuff yeah so you know not only are they fandom oriented but they're very community minded mm -hmm. as well however the meat and potatoes of this whole trivia excursion was of course our winnings rose oh, and she is my favorite companion uh you way. know i think that she was my favorite companion too i know that i know that rose uh doesn't always strike a chord with some people, but she was a lot of fun. I mean, we could go into to depth as to what we liked about her. So, there she is in all of her little rosy glory. And she's got the classic uh, Union Jack mm -hmm. shirt on, which has, even though, what was that, two episodes that she wore I think that? So, it was a yeah. two-part episode. It was just very iconic. But yeah, it became so iconic for her character. And another reason I love to take my Funkos out of the box is you're not going to see this little hair barrette detail, you know? You just don't get to see all the really cool detail of them all around. And I'm not trying to discount the people who won the expert or whatever, but quite frankly, I got the prize I wanted. That's true. Because they won a, tr a, a big pop TARDIS, and then it was Rose, and it was one of those things that it's like, I'd rather have Rose, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, like, it would have been cool to have, like, the clout of saying, yeah, we won the expert, but I got the prize I wanted, so I was happy. <laughs> And, uh, you know, in our house, I think we may have a TARDIS or two anyway, so yes. it, it might be good to uh, <laughs> fill in those companions a little more. Yes. Well, Nerdlings, it just goes to show that one of the best things about these conventions is that it is a great way to get a peek into mm -hmm. maybe some uh, local organizations, mm -hmm. local fandoms, clubs, groups, whatever you want to call them, like the Springfield Hooligans. Now, of course, there will be Links in the description below so that you could check out the Springfield Hooligans as well. Even if you're not in the area, they're still really cool to check out just to see all the stuff they do and maybe give you some ideas if you don't have an awesome club like that in your area. Mm -hmm. Might be time to start one yourself. Besides, I mean, they've got a really cool name anyway, Springfield Hooligans. Oh, that's, yeah, Hooligans. that's great. So, I mean, it's a great play on words and it's just a fun thing to say. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Drop some comments down below about any of the trivia uh, video bits or mm -hmm. any comments about Rose, your favorite companion, any of your Doctor Who comments. We mm -hmm. want to see those down below. Be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. There are more. Vision Con videos on the way. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so that you can see more of the Vision Con videos coming your way. And don't forget to hit us up over there on Team Public because we've got merch. We want to see you in your shirts. And nerdlings, remember if we like it, we nerd it. And we won't leave you alone on a beach. Oh. <laughs>